Something, something. Don't know. Caution. Not very. Ah, here we go. I needed to. I needed to find someone experienced with the map, so I was just looking for this guy to, uh, cause he can take me to Yenov Station. Uh, which I think is near one of the stingrays I need to investigate or something like that, but I didn't realize this is the man I need to talk to about the map I found? Uh, let me see. Good. Lots of, lots of detail. In our business, details make the difference between life and death. Alright, uh, these maps indicate there's a safe route straight through between Stordak and Yonov. I'll copy the data to my PDA if you don't mind. Now I can uh, offer you a discount. I needed that anyways. Uh, I need to get to Yonov. Only a thousand. Am I sure about this? That's a lot of money. Oh, just because I think I should mention this, I realize that Pyrites doesn't... Who the hell just drew a weapon on me? Um, doesn't really actually fit for the spelling of this game's name. I think it's Call of Pipirat. Pip Pipirat? I can't remember. I, I think I figured... I sounded it out a while ago. Ah, you're not. It's basically decent distance from everything I need, but it's near everything I need. If I teleport to Yanov, I can go over here to investigate the evacuation location, then down here to Stingray, up here to this Stingray, and then go across to here. Which, no, nothing about this situation feels safe, but sure. Give me the Yonov. God. If that's with a decent discount, I'm kind of scared what... <laughs> how much it would have cost without the discount. God. Ama imagine I did this without the discount and then figured out that he's the one. I'm guessing any transporter like this guy would have been able to figure out the maps for me? I don't even remember where I got this. I think I picked it up off one of the helicopters. Which was on this side, and this would bring me closer to the- Okay, so it was probably intentionally done by devs, assuming people would investigate the closer helicopters first, get the map thingy, decode it, and then teleport here, saving them time and energy and resources. Uh, game? I'm listening. There we go. Here we are. Yanov Station is a haven of relative safety in the area around Jupiter. This is where we go our separate ways. But if you need me, look for me by the bar. Got you. Can you explain that strange... First time here? Patch of darkness? I'm relatively new here myself. The name's Nitro. I work with equipment. I can repair anything you need. You sure but you don't work with explosives? getting some good tools is a problem around here. If you see anything, bring it straight to me. And if you need any technical help, come see me and I'll be glad to do what I can for you. Okay, strange man. I suggest actually, like, telling me... Where the hell did he go? And why is it so goddamn dark? Hey, bro. I suggest telling me specifically what you... Fix it. Oh, God. How the hell? No, I just broke the lighting system somehow. Doesn't surprise me. Honestly, really doesn't. I suggest you tell me specifically what it is you want me to keep because I have a tendency to hoard and steal everything. Hello? And if it looks like useless junk, there's every possibility that I will throw it. Out. Oh, hello, sexy. Where aren't you? A sight for sore eyes, and your damage has gotten worse. What have you done to yourself? Damn, really? 9 by 19 millimeter rounds, really? These are some like 
good stuff and it's already available? What, is that for you? No. Why? And you, 556, what kind of rounds, but nothing here takes it. Here we go. You cannot sleep, you're suffering. Oh, suck my radiated, my radiated dick, I don't care. Just let me sleep. Uh, oh. Was sleepy in the previous games? Also, that is gorgeous. Incredible. Uh, guess they took a tip out of Fallout's book. Let's move to about here. Damn, this place is awesome looking. That's a weird looking building. Normally, the foundation's in the ground and the house is sitting on top of it, but you know, in Mother Russia, we do things differently? I think? That's weird. I've never seen anything like that. Okay. Yeah, uh, my plan, just in case I didn't clarify, uh, I'm gonna go to here, then ring around to here, then to here, and then after that I should be able to follow the road up and cross, cross, because there's a lot of canal here. So cross across here, work my way down, sort of following the roads, then just move up and across until I get to that stingray, and possibly hit any other points that come available to me. Come to my attention. Let's move on. I'm trying to work through these stingrays pretty quickly because this is probably a lot more like a tutorial. Not really. It's not as interesting. I mean, it's interesting, but it's not as, as interesting. It's not quite like stalker stalker. It's not quite what I'm used to. I'm used to running headfirst into God knows what relics, chasing down murderers and psychopaths and thieves and people who just simply piss me off. And shooting him dead, you know, investigating dumbass military copters that couldn't fly worth a damn. It's not of interest. Where exactly are we? Because if I remember correctly, in. Oh. I want to say Shadow Chernobyl, we, we found a scientist base like this in a really screwed up raid zone. It wasn't quite this place. Probably just them reusing assets, but it was definitely a base like that. Mm, tank. Can I have a tank? Oh, son of a bitch. Zombies. Yep, okay. So, hmm. The emissions are the one thing I'm confused about. I know call pyrites at this point in time, barring Harsh Noble coming out. No clue when that's going to happen. I should note, when Harder Chernobyl comes out, I am going to be playing it. One thing that saddens me is most likely I will... Ooh! Wait a minute. I'm here. I wasn't paying attention. Okay, stop talking. Finish your thought later. Damn it. Should have saved. Uh, okay, finishing my thoughts. Since we have to walk back now. Uh... Harsh Noble, I'm not going to get to play it on PC. My PC setup works fine for playing the older ones, but Harsh Noble is going to be way too new. I'm not going to be able to play it on PC. So it's going to be a console playthrough. Because if I remember correctly, before it ended up getting delayed, it was also going to be available on the Xbox. Which is actually what got me interested in... Um, stalker because I saw it on the Xbox store and I was like eh, what's what's this game I like I watched the trailer and everything couldn't figure out what the game was about or anything like that I just couldn't tell I thought it might have been like a multiplayer shooter type thingy I couldn't tell uh, so I went to the discord for the stalker games found out a little bit about Mm, saw that sh I think Shadow Chernobyl was on sale at the time, so I swiped it up and never looks back. <laughs> well, the weird chanting in my ears is of some level of concern, <laughs> but not enough concern to actually be concerned, so let's just keep moving. Ignore it, you know? That's the best way to deal with your problems in life. Just ignore them until they are unignorable. Got 
Got him. Jesus, the recoil. I'll take an Odin. Because these bastards don't barely have a brain cell to think. I don't think they noticed. I mean, granted, the zombies are slow, so maybe they're just taking a second to get to me, but... I think the gunfight happened so quickly that they didn't have enough time to even mentally register that something happened. Jesus. I mean, granted, with how, ha with how quick that entire thing went down, I wouldn't have really registered the gunfire either. Interesting. I see money, explosives, and everything else that gets me wet and horny in the morning. What the fuck did I just say? <laughs> Ignore that. Uh, I need a way in there. I need a way in. This is an evacuation point, right? What am I supposed to be investigating? I mean... Oh, yeah, they probably are soldiers. Odin rifle? I believe it's an Odin, right? That's what I'm holding. AC-92-2. A-6-2. They changed that, because I'm pretty sure in the previous game, in Clear Skies and I think Shadow Pyrite, they were called Odins. Or Okis. I love playing- I love doing stuff like that. Also, they're not smart. You know, that's one thing that's gonna scare me about Horror Chernobyl, is they're probably gonna have much better AI that's actually gonna understand, like, walls and corners and all that good stuff. So they're gonna be intelligent. So I'm not gonna be able to play them as easily as I do these guys, which is, uh, a terrifying possibility. Having to actually think before I act. That could be a way into the chamber. I'm assuming it's that safe room we need to get into. Come out, come out wherever you are. Oh, Jason. Voorhees. Leatherface. Is this where we're having the fifth annual asshole meeting? Ah! The fuck is that? I need therapy now. Yeah, that, 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 that's... Chuckin! Chuckin for the child creature thingies. I, I, I think a mutated form of Alvin and the Chipmunks just assailed me. Chuckin! Chuckin! My best friend Chuckin! How you doing? Lovely. You ready to blow some Chipmunks sky high? Uh, that's not good. I don't see anyone. That's really not good. That's a bunker. Oh, there's always fun stuff down the bunkers. Hello? Anyone there? Oh, I see. Ah, uh, you probably the guy that saw me. I need a scope. Sniper something. Okay, lost him. Ooh, that's just an old stalker. Okay. Something. We don't have a crouch animation, do we? It's just crouch, uncrouch, crouch, uncrouch, crouch, crouch, uncrouch, so on and so forth. Interesting. I didn't even realize that we don't have crouch animation. Didn't even get a shot off, did you? What's up? Oh, that's what I needed. Just a little piece of paper sitting here. How convenient. So, we got that. Did they give us any new waypoints? No. So, it's that done. Escape Stingray. Okay, next. Next. So, okay. Uh. You. Go. 
Interesting. I think in Clear Skies, they didn't include the headshot instant death stuff. If you don't know, in... Or am I thinking of Far Cry 6? I think in Shadow of Chernobyl, if you hit a headshot, it instantly killed them. I think. I'm not sure. In Clear Skies, I'm pretty sure it didn't, and I think they brought it back now, because some of the... Those zombies are normally pretty difficult, but then again, sort of beginning of the game, so maybe... I don't know, maybe they're not as tough? I don't know, there is level difficulty scaling in this game, or if certain enemies are just of certain toughness, and just gotta beat them. Like an RPG. No, RPG is a well scale. Either way, you get what I mean. That's a quaint little town. Not what I'm interested in, though. I don't want to find out why the weird man in the train station is pleasing himself. Uh, yep. That's where I'm going. And this seems like a trap. Should I mention the part where I'm not sure whether or not the military... These guys would actually know I'm in here, and if they're alive, whether or not they would actually... Would they shoot at me? I don't know, because I'm meant to look like a stalker. Well, if I look like a stalker, and they've had no comms with these guys since I got here, then is this going to end well for me? Something, something... Don't know. Caution. Not very. Son of a bitch. <laughs> that was completely unintentional. I know it says mines because it says mines on the bottom half, but I didn't expect to go from reading the sign to instantly stepping on a mine. That was just good timing. Oh, you son of a bitch. I'm in. <laughs> Amazing! Uh, gotta love it. Gotta love it when things just line up. Okay, um, how do I not get my legs blown off? There's only one part of my lower body that I like getting blown, and it is not my legs. <laughs> ah, God damn it! That too scared me! Oh, I feel that tingle in my arms. Damn it, there's no mine! Because mines are usually buried. At least I know where they are now. No process of elimination, and luckily enough, unlike a normal soldier, I have more than two legs, so I'm able to process of eliminate these rather easily. Uh, stick to the middle of the path, into the outside of the path. Damn it! <laughs> How do I know where the mines are? Where's the safe path? I have an idea what might be a safe path. Uh, okay, the pools are working. Now they're not. Move from sign to sign? Uh, I mean, I don't know why I'm just slowly inching across. It's not going to change the fact that if I step on a mine, I'm going to be blown sky high. Oh, I see the corpse of a soldier. I have a feeling some of them tried to run away from something and ran straight into the minefield. I don't know this is the intended path, but somehow it's working. Come on, come on, come on. Just let me get to the corpse. Hello, soldier. How you doing? Don't mind me. Thank you for your service. Yeah, I can take it. That's what your mother said last night. Is that, like, actually the way to figure it out? Follow the signposts? Or did I just get lucky? I'm gonna assume I got lucky. Because that's the only good explanation. Because me actually doing something correctly and figuring something out. Is that really my style? Can't imagine the man would land relatively unharmed and then go running into a minefield. What happened? Two bodies. Looks like they died in the crash. 
Everything of value has been looted and the onboard computer has been wiped clean. But the black box is still intact. Good. Interesting. I reckon a decent technician will be able to extract the information on it and decode it. Good. Give the black box to a technician for decryption. Uh, do we know of a technician? I don't think many... What? Um... Guys, you're supposed to follow the signpost. Oh, that one figured it out. Uh, hello. Do I have to use some good ammo on you? You're kind of wimpy. Do use the good ammo. That is weird. Was that the dev's way of clearing out the minefield for us? He's down. Let's see if he makes it. Go on. You got. Oh no, no. As soon as I started cheering him on, he died. So is there no minefield anymore? Let's find out. Nope, there's still mines. God, what kind of dumbass would assume it's gone? Also, I'm I'm not sure, but like, I don't think many stalkers in the zone are very IT orientated. You know, if you got those kind of skills, you don't usually go headfirst into the bosom into the radiated soft bosom of the zone. You know, <laughs> not a great idea. You got lucky. You got an easy death. The other guys, uh, well, they got their pork tossed. Yeah, keep coming this way. Come on, you can make it. You can make it. Son of a bitch, you made it. Eggs. Someone needs to help me. <laughs> I've got mental issues. Uh, no, 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 no. I don't want to go to the IT guy just yet. I try and kind of do missions in order, you know, fully complete them and then go to another one. But considering how heinous travel can be for me, I want to try and minimize it. So, if I follow this road down here, I should be end up at some sort of power plant, I think? I believe that's what it is. Can we tell who they are? Enemy. I don't know much more than that. Some sort of enemy. I don't know. Not military, though. But weird that they're around here. Really freaking weird. You hear something? Ah! Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> Fuck you, dudes! You and your invisible shit eating sucker! Oh, your lucky ammo's expensive! Oh, come on, get, at least give me something for killing the damn thing! Thing pops out of nowhere. God, I feel like a schoolgirl who just got her cherry popped again because that was the exact same sort of situation that occurred the first time I encountered one of those damn things. Good luck with that, Bougie. Keep on distracted for me. They're over there doing that. They're not over here. Look at me. Why is it so radioactive all of a sudden? Why is the game breaking all of a sudden? Uh, you know what? Actually, don't need to be in here. I, as much as I like exploring, you know, every minute that I'm spending in here is another minute is a few megabytes of storage space that I have to deal with. Um, but as well, Zion. Ammunition's a really expensive thing, okay? Between my gun degrading, ammunition degrading, and just past experiences with Stalker, I know it's not a great idea to waste all your ammunition when you don't need to. 
correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't there currently a tapping going on somewhere, or am I just losing it again? I don't know. It happens. I have brief moments of madness to just slip in above everything else. It's hard to know what is and isn't. If you're wondering why I'm avoiding the inside of buildings, it's because as soon as you go into a building, you immediately up your risk factor. It becomes ten times riskier to be moving around. At least out here, I have a lot more control over my situation. Damn. This place is awesome. And this little area alone has so much character. Here we go. Whatever I need is here. This is a pretty close entrance. Minimize the distance. I gotta travel inside a building. Minimize the distance. I have to run back out of the building. What is it? We're investigating a stingray, right? What the heck? I'm crashing down through the roof? Lights disconcerting. There's the lights, that means someone's in here. Someone's been in here. Where are they? God damn barrels. Oh, some kind of booklet? What the hell is this? So, the underpass was filled with gas after it was sealed. What does that mean? Is that what I need to do? No. Don't know what the hell that was. I thought it would have something to do with the stingray. I am still moving forward to the stingray. I just I'm not sure what the hell that book was about. What underpass are you talking about? What the hell? Wait, 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 Anomaly! Anomaly! Some of them aren't real? I think some of them are fake. And some of them are real. Some of them are illusions. And not... I don't know. That's weird. This one's all anomalous. The hell would you do? Fly through a flamer or something? Hello, buddy. You did not have a good time. The electronics are the same here. Black box. Still need to investigate that evacuation. Okay, so we've investigated two of the helicopters that get, that now gives you an idea of a source. We're not an actual place. We just need a source. We need to find a source of what could have done it, which may be answered at one of the future ones. So that's for the decryption. Ah. Uh, Pripyat. Pripyat. That's where we need to go. Getting back there is going to take a minute. I don't know. I mean, I, it, it's a much straighter line, so it's going to be a much easier journey, but that doesn't mean jack. I have two reasons to go, want to go back to the one place. One, I need to decrypt the black box. Uh, two, I need to sell stuff, buy stuff, and prepare for the longer journey. As well, since I need to go back to the bar anyways, I might as well be just try and check, see if anyone can just take me, take me to per Pripyat. Probably saying that right. Bad choice, old yeller. I'm not in the mood. Anyone else need their dog put down? Because I got plenty of bullets to do it. Oh, come on. I was joking. I don't have plenty of bullets to keep this up. And I'm free once again. Okay. Good. I can save. Damn. Some sort of landslide? Seismic activity? Okay, yeah, something weird about this place. Like the earth was just torn apart all of a sudden. 
It's like a scorch mark, actually. Like something just burnt away all the material. Yikes. Uh, another safe house? Ah, we're back. Uh, I need someone who can decrypt this for me. You don't think they'll kill Tim as soon as they have the artifact? Hey there. Hello. I was told you can help me. Mr. Nitro, I need some real fragging materials. How am I supposed to work like this? Oh, hello. I need you to decrypt this. Uh, let's have a look. This is going to be some work. I'll take about three hours and it won't be cheap. I'll do the work and then we'll talk. Meanwhile, why don't you look for the components I need? Or in some cash and I'll charge you less for this job. Wait for black box decryption. Okay. Repair. Uh, repair this. Damn. No, I need to sell this stuff. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm gonna be back. Wow, okay, that sucks. So because the weapons are too are are too damaged to trade Wow, it would cost more to repair them. So picking weapons up off of enemies isn't always a surefire way to get yourself stuff. Okay. Yikes. only one guy in the building he only goes back to where I went came from so since no one's gonna be taking me to Pripyat I'm gonna have to get there myself or I can uh, hang on let me go find a place to sleep I found one to sleep before turn to nitro for information okay yeah let's go get that info I'm listening. You don't think they'll kill Tim as soon as they Yeah, okay, so Nitro, what do you got? Tell me your black box is she job if I've ever done one. What do I owe you? At uh, three thousand at least. Don't have that much. Uh well, I can give you a discount when you bring me the components. Um mention materials? Uh, right, finding materials to use for working with the radio equipment is damn near impossible around here. I've used everything I could find, and there's nobody supplying ma materials around here. But you can make more cash selling guns. I heard there could be something left at the cement factory, though. Um, why would there be radio materials there? Uh, cement factory is just a name. It stopped making cement long before the Chernobyl disaster. They dissembled what they could and started using the building to make electric appliances. Got you. And get them. That'd be great. I mean, this is what I need to do, right? Here, how about this? Since we need to head up there to get the components anyways, we follow the road up, hit the cement factory, and then travel over across the water somehow. Over across the stingray. <sighs> Such a long way. Oh, come on! Come on! Can I get a break? Son of a bitch! I can't get it easy, can I? I always gotta take it real hard right up Main Street. And go to the cement factory. I hope this is a damn good discount because if I still don't have enough money for it, then I'm really screwed. The one thing I can think of is I can reload back a bit. See, the problem is that goes against what I try and do. With games like this, where you have saving, loading features, and you can jump back as far as you want, I try and make it so that my decisions are final. If I do something stupid with my ammunition, I have to figure it out. I have to do something. But I'm not allowed to reload unless absolutely necessary. 
This may be one of those times. I don't know. It's not a great start. The stairs are out. Oh, I hate this idea, but uh, if the stairs are out, there is still an option on the water tower. Ah, how lovely. My old friend, high voltage electricity. Anomalous electricity at that, so it's sentient. It wants to kill me. Oh, don't worry. You'll get my your turn with me later. There we go. So I guess that's just a bit of it. Bit. Ah! What the hell? Hey, that's just cruel. Oh. So that would. So that's what a reverse talk about enemas feels like. The hell's wrong with you people? That is. I don't know what half this crap is, but it seems to be what he wants. So we'll get it for him. Okay, and leave. <laughs> I never expected to be attacked by a bunch of moss. That's a new one. Never been attacked by radioactive moss. Uh, well, we can end that to a list of things to hate. I'm gonna focus on Steam Racer right now, but I think I may actually do some side missions for a little bit, just to try to. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I'm considering just sort of in general situation I have to deal with with Stalker, and considering the fact that there is no actual like time rush on getting Stalker out, I may start intertwine stalker with another series I started recording which isn't as storage heavy as stalker tends to be uh, half-life <laughs> I may start doing that uh, and intertwine the two to try and you know just ease up the storage space a little bit so ease up the stress a little bit this game can be kind of stressful you don't think they'll still kill me? Okay, please give me quite the discount for this. Found the materials. I searched the cement factory from top to bottom. There we go. Is that good? I'm impressed. I'm taking... I'll make a note right here. Free labor on all repairs and upgrades for my favorite stalker. Is... Is that... Is that true? Repairs? Will you repair my gun? Nope. Ah, oh, you bastard. You bastard. You had me. You had me. Had me for a second there. Okay, um. Okay. 2650. Don't add that much. You don't think they'll still kill as soon as they have the artifact? They'll definitely shoot him if we come out blasting. Buddy out of trouble. What happened? Uh, Metra is in real trouble. The bandits have started putting their foot down and demanding a cut of the artifact stalkers find. We told them to take a hike because we feared stalkers don't owe nobody shit. And that seemed to be the end of it. But they ambushed the poor bastard when he went hunting for loot on his own. Now they're demanding ransom. What are you going to do? Uh... Torva is suggesting give them an artifact as ransom. I reckon we shouldn't give them shit. If we do, that means stalkers are working for ban for the bandits. We we should sell the artifact, hire us a solid crew, and attack the bandit base. I was right, no point in starting a bloodbath while you got a hostage. We must negotiate. This one? Uh, hmm, you two might be right. Only thing is, if me and Torba go, the bandits won't let us out, seeing as we refuse to follow the rules. They said they bury us alive next time they see us. Now, if you could act as a negotiator, talk, grizzled to, talk to Grizzle to make sure he's ready. Sure, give me the artifact. Ooh, a goldfish, nice. It's gonna be fine. 
Okay, who the hell do I need to talk to? Jesus Christ, you don't make this easy, do you? And ultimately, if things do turn bloody, I could just kill the bandits, take their stuff, and then walk away with all the loot, including the goldfish. I wouldn't use it, sell it. How much is goldfish worth? I just thought about that. <laughs> uh, I don't know how much a goldfish is worth. Damn. Imagine that. Talk him into giving me a goldfish, take the goldfish, and then sell it. Poor bastards wouldn't know what hit him. Because nothing would hit him. Except for maybe my bullets. They try and make me give him the money or the goldfish or whatever else. <laughs> Hello. What would have made for an amazing joke? If... They said they had a goldfish artifact, and then they handed me a dead goldfish. That would have been a pretty good joke. <laughs> like, hey, dumbasses, wrong thing. It's not what a goldfish is. Attention, attention, an emission is approaching. Find cover immediately. Can I catch a break with this? What do you mean a mission? Damn it. Uh, yeah, gotta cover up here. Hi! Listen guys, we have a bit of an issue right now, and I kinda need this space, so... How about you hold that for like two seconds? Weapon! Guys! Really not the time. I know you're zombies and all, but like, come on. Even you gotta know a mission means bad things are about to happen. Come on. I don't even have time to freaking loot, you idiots. Even those sprat leaders are running. Mission is about to hit. Find cover immediately. Preferably not sprat cover. God. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Let's keep going. I was considering just heading back to base and selling that stuff and hoping I had enough, but I would prefer to just complete the mission since we are like literally right here holster weapon just carrying a bolt sir hey, no need go back to where you came from while you still got legs uh if i'm not wrong this is where i need to go i need to speak with your boss okay can i talk to you um tell your dragon around loot or something we can help with that Hear about the captain stalker. I want to see your hey, chief. What are you doing here? Hmm. Go back to where you Go came on from then, while you but... still got legs. Hmm. Go on then. But keep it clean and tidy, or we'll put you in the ground in no time. Keep it straight and then go through the passage in between the containers. Got it? Gotcha. And to be clear, I could absolutely take off. What the fuck? I love that. Talking about, I can take you all on by force, and then they shoot me in the back. What happened? I don't understand. What What happened? He told me to go straight. <laughs> oh, you know what? I probably didn't say yep. I probably didn't actually accept the agreements to move through. Okay. Through here. Hello. I'd speak to you, good sir. Uh, we have visitors. A stalker to see Jorak for a word. You come carrying gifts, or you got business to discuss. Either way, spit it out. I want to buy him out. And I want respect. I want respect for the bandits and our rules, buddy. But I ain't interested in any unnecessary trouble either. 15,000 or a suitable artifact will do for now. I'm a fair man. I won't take more than I'm owed. Don't have that much on me. I brought the artifact. Alright, which one? Goldfish. 
Okay, I respect what you're doing. Take this loser into his stalkers. Next time, t the price will be higher. Need movement out of the bar bandit camp. See you next time. Uh, where is he? Come on, come on, you dumbass twit. Thanks for saving. What are you doing? Well, keep moving before I had to save you again. Where did he go? Is he stuck? Don't tell me you're stuck. Are you gonna come with me? Uh, let's move. Come on, this way. I got kind of lost on my way in here, so I'm not sure I'm the best person to lead you out of here. Hey! Sucker, you're trying to insult me or something? You brought enough dough for your punk-ass friend, but you ain't paid us for a safe passage. That's poor thinking on your part. You feel me? How much are we... Uh, you know what? I don't think you would actually do this, because your leader wouldn't be too happy. He says he's a fair man, only takes what he's owed. He's been paid what he's owed. We were told we can leave. Um, you got no friggin' price list into your pockets. Uh, you want to take my loot? Are they shooting at me or him? You are not a man of your word. Okay, let's try this again. Let's try giving him whatever it is he wants. Let's, let's see what it is he wants to take. If it's reasonable i can do that if it's literally Thanks, what everything in my pockets i'm gonna kill them all um talking here oh take it take the 241 dollars you coming with there we go yeah yeah have it Keep it. Take it. I d <laughs> Yeah, that's a fair amount of money, but I got a lot more in guns and weaponry and completing this mission than I do in actually my pockets. Wait, so is he good? Uh-uh. Uh, thanks for helping me. Soccer friends will definitely reward you when you get back. Uh, yeah. Teleport me to the base. Thank you. That's probably part of the reward is they teleport you back to a main safe location, which is actually really freaking nice. Hello, hello. Uh, 5,000 cash. That's already enough. And stash coordinates. I don't give a damn about you. Alright, I can buy the thing. I can get the thing back now, but, Stop. uh. How much would it cost? Like, this shotgun. Pair that. 492 Rue. How much do I get? I just want to see if it's worth it. I don't think I'll do all this trade right now. Uh. Right, right, uh, take the money. There we go. Stingray 4, come in. Come in, damn it. Stingray 4, do you read? Attention, Stingray Group. This is Stingray 1. The emergency evacuation position is B28. I repeat, B28. Interesting. Hmm, honestly, I don't know what you need why you need the recording but for what it costs you i sure hope it's gonna be useful we'll see so we got an update thing road to pepperite okay so i'm not gonna have to walk there because b2a that was uh what the hell stash skate departure jupiter one plants back in there now I'm making this easy and then pyrite b28 that's the place so we can use a guide to get there but we also need to investigate the Jupiter plant so I think I'll do that but let me real quickly check Later. it costs 
what, uh, $492, whatever's, ruples to fix it, and it's gonna catch me 636 so, okay, I see, so, the way they've done it with this one is different, it's a lot more, the trading system's a bit heavier, um, I don't know. You, you, you understand what I'm saying. Like, you had to repair the guns to then make a bit of money. It kind of closed the profit margins a little bit, but isn't terrible. Oh, what? Ooh, you already have an optical mount? Uh, yes. Fix you? Um. Ooh. Hello. Jesus. Expensive, but I don't mind. Sweet little thing like that. Look at that. I think this will be my new main gun for the time being. Yeah. I like this, but this... Is this more damage? Damage is about the same. But this is able to have uh, an optical scope, which I prefer. I prefer to have the option of a much more ranged weapon. You know? There we go. Now that's a pretty little scope. Okay, I'm going to end this episode of uh, Stalker Call of Pipirats off here. I thought I was going to complete the Stingray stuff in this episode, but it be showed itself to be much more difficult. As well, I was kind of hesitant about those side missions, but I may, at the start of the next episode, go through there and just gather up the side missions as... gather up all the side missions and see what I can do along the way, because they're actually not that bad. <laughs> like, they legit are not that bad like five grand for saving an idiot pretty good pretty freaking good uh but yeah right now i'm gonna end this episode off here that's episode i may do a few side missions but i'm also gonna head over to jupiter plant investigate that and then see about getting a guide over to pipirats where the final stingray landed uh, did I ever figure out that one stingray with the electricity? No, I never found it. But I may find it when I get to B28. It seems like the different stingrays influence each other. So, probably, so long as I keep working down the mission line, I will eventually get what I need. You know, place on description, like, comment, all that good stuff. I love all of you. My brain is melting out my ears, and I'm incredibly tired. Love y'all. Bye. God, my head.